I paid over $2,000 for a multi-millionaire's abandoned storage unit that pulled out 10, 20, maybe even $30,000 worth of merchandise. And we have another truckload behind us we're gonna unbox right now. Let's do it. Let's start with the little U-Haul boxes right here. Ooh, these are heavy. Last time he said books and it says hardback cookbooks. You know what? That's not a bad thing though. There's cookbooks that are worth money, especially the hardback ones. So this could actually be a very valuable box. Let's see if that's the case. Oh, look at this. This books. That doesn't look like a book to me nope. that I've ever seen. See, okay, now we're starting to get to the point where I can't trust the labels on the boxes anymore. At the beginning, they were like almost 100% accurate. Now, it's more like 50%. Let's see what's in this thing here. What is this? It is, well, Curtis Stone Prep Center. So it's like storage, kitchen storage, okay. but they're, it's new. So we'll just leave that right back in there. It looks like there's one, two of those. So maybe just sell them as a set. And let's see what's in this bag right here. This is, well, paper in the bag. But what's in the paper? That's the question. This is, oh, I thought it say some red cups. You know what I read online? People in other countries, tell me if this is true. People that come to America take these because they're like souvenirs because they're in movies and everything. But to us <laughs> Americans, they're like the most basic everyday thing. I've always read that and heard that in videos. People that are like from the UK, Please tell me if I'm right, because that's just kind of interesting to know as an American. Here's just like the cheap throwaway. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> just a cheap throwaway cup. But people said like, they're so cool because they're in movies and stuff. But I thought it was interesting. There's some cookbooks for sure. So there actually were some cookbooks in here. Ninja cooking system, the Nutribullet. Definitely a lot of cookbooks in here. So these are, even if they're a dollar a piece, that's at least 20 bucks right there. Next little box. This one has nothing written on the top. So it's a little bit of a mystery. Let's see what's in there. Can we have brand new stuff again? I really like the brand new stuff, I really do. Let's see. Oh no, we can't actually. This one's literally all magazines, all the way through. That's going to the art sale pile. Last little box here at the front. This one says hardback books again, but they said that last time and we had brand new kitchen stuff, so that doesn't mean anything. That's just a suggestion. Let's see what's in there. See, does this right here look like hardback cooking books? Not any hardback cooking book that I've ever seen, personally. Let's see, ooh. That doesn't sound like one either. Let's see what the brand is on this. Come here. What does that say? Ernesto. 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 I don't know if that's a high-end brand. If you're aware, let me know in the comment section. Let's put that over here. There's one more disc right here. And it looks like it's kind of like the other one. Let's see this bag. This bag is full of hardback cooking books, but first let's see what this is. Storage container? Pretty old now. And then, ah, what is that? There's one more hiding. I gotta see what you are first. Open up, open up, open up. Uh, just little tiny metal pans. All again, so far, yard sale stuff. Do you want bag number one, bag number two, or bag number three? Pick three. wisely. Three, okay. All right, let's go three. Rip it apart. Okay, a box inside. What's in the box? Oh, it's open, isn't it? Well, yeah. let's just get the box out, I guess. This is a nice shipping box donation, you know? Thank you for the <laughs> shipping. But I see a lot of shoes in here. Look at these bottoms. These new. are not used. These are a lot of brand new shoes without boxes, huh? Look at these. These are 100% new shoes right here. I mean, this one's still in plastic. Holy crap. This might be a little jackpot box here. Look at this. Brand new. Definitely brand new. Wow. Here, oh, we got a pair of matching pair there, I think. Brand new. There's no way these are all about to be brand new. Well, that's brand new. Uh, I'm starting to get confused here. We'll have to match all these together, yeah. huh? This is brand new, but it's got something on it, but it's never been worn, you can see. It seemed like burn that was on one of the boots. Yeah, I know, it's like a cigarette or something. Look at that. Why do they have so many new shoes without boxes in here? Again, no, uh, okay, the, this pair here, looks like they've been worn maybe once or twice, but that's probably new. Look in here. This one's definitely new, it's in the plastic. Again, in the plastic. But there's definitely a mix. There's some in here that are pre-owned, but there are a lot that are brand spanking new. This is probably at least $200 bag, easy. Go to the middle one now, because last time I found one of these, I thought it was just bedding set, and there was actually like a brand new purse in there. One time I had brand new Dennis Basso set. By the way, this is a $200 set, if that's what's actually supposed to be in there. We'll see what's supposed to be in there. Pillow, is this a blanket actually? Looks like it could be a fur coat. But no, it's a blanket. It's um, Pier 1 Imports. Okay. Then there's another pillow. 
Here's the thicker blanket. It actually does look like it's all bedding in this one, unfortunately. So I don't know if that's supposed to come in there. So we're just gonna put it in the yard sale pile. Now the third and the final bag of the chosen three. Let's see what's in this guy. I see a shoe already, but brand spanking new shoe. All right, what brand is that? Size nine, 10, made in that. I don't know, but it looks nice. It looks comfortable, I'll say. I don't know about nice. Bass or Boss, brand new. Let's see. Here we go again, huh? Well, this one's brand new, but this one has been used. I'll make, I'll try to separate the new from the used. If it's still used and in good shape, it'll definitely go too. Look at those galaxy type flowers. There's the other Bass or Boss one. There's those that still have the thing on them, brand new. Let's see, I wanna try to get this green basket out of here. Come on, come on you, get out. Ugh. There's a lot of used shoes in here it looks like. But hey, here's the other matching pair to that. These, on the other hand, uh, I mean, they might be used, but they're in, nah, they're peeling. They're not in good shape. They look like it from the bottom. These are decent shape pre-owned, so this pile will go to the yard sale. The good shape pile will go to the auction. When we first bought this unit, we showed this box here on the second channel because we could see it from the outside. It just says, glass vase and look how tall it is so i've been curious if it's like a horde of glass vases or one extra huge one that could be very valuable so let's find that out right now and see what's inside well i see a trash bag that's not really helping let's take the trash bag out oh it is one there's something in here actually let's see what this is first what's in here paper paper nothing maybe just to keep it safe probably during transport is this just paper and cardboard? Yeah, this is probably just to keep it safe during transport, so that. But there's one, it looks like one gigantic vase in here. I love all the packing material in all the boxes. Like this unit's so nice. We have, we've sold probably 500 items out of it and I haven't had to buy one box or package. It's lovely. <laughs> Let's see, whoa. This is a big boy, all right. That is a big boy. Let's see, where did the knife go? I think I just buried it in all this packing material. Yep, there it is. Let's slowly cut this down and see if we can see it. It's got a blue color to it. Can you see that on your side? No. Well, on my side, you can start to see the color look like that. It's got a little price tag right there on it. No, oh, it's $80 from Pier 1 import. So I'm not gonna take it all the way out because I was only gonna look to see if it was you know, some really old rare piece or something like that. 80 bucks is still super nice, but there's no way out of risk shipping this thing. So it'll probably be at our next $1 yard sale this spring. I don't feel like this time's been a lot of black bags compared to usual. So let's go to another box here. This one just says Xmas on it, so it might be Christmas stuff. But there could be very valuable Christmas stuff here. Merry Christmas, your present. Thank you. Let's see what I Let's got. Let's see what, here. yeah. What did I get you? I got you Christmas balls and pine cones. Did they set in ones at least? Yeah, they have that little cinnamon scent to it. Those cool. are nice. Thank you. And then we got this is the big present right here that I got for you. It is uh, it's paper. No, okay, there's something down there. It's like a just star ornament, something like that. And what else is Thank in you. here? You're welcome. These. I can tell you about the plastic. It's gonna be those things of like Christmas balls. Yeah, look, you can just tell by feeling exactly what those are. And this right here, this is just like cotton for some reason. I'm gonna ask you again, one or two? One. One? one? Yeah. Okay, number one. Ugh. Let's see, this one feels more like clothing. Usually when I feel clothing, I'm like, no. And this unit, when I feel clothing, I'm just like, cha-ching. Cause it's been making us so much money at our auctions. Such good high quality stuff. Like this, is that brand new? No, that's just a ribbon here. Dusk Boutique on there. So what it says, it looks like something you wear on like a ship. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. A little pirate outfit or something. Let's go to here. What's this big guy? These look more like the things we've been finding. Well, that's just, what is it, a skirt? Skirt. Skirt. What about this? This is- That has tags. Harry Lewis, and it's brand new with tags. Gotta love that. I'll make a separate pile over here for the brand new stuff. Cause the brand new stuff and the good condition high-end stuff will all go to auction. What about this here? Does that match that? No. No, it's, it's not a skirt, skirt. though. skirt. I haven't found many skirts this unit. Oh, I see a tag. I don't want to rip it off. I'm going to pull it off slowly. What did that go to? This. What is that? Uh, pants? Pair of pants, but they are new with tags, so we'll separate that over here. There's a hanger. What about this guy? Come on. Nope, no tags. What about this guy? Oh, new with tags. Look at that. Boom, leather brand new, Dialogue, size medium. 
left over here to the good side. Welcome. What about this pair? No. Oh, oh, is that tax? What's that say? Jones New York suit. These are actually expensive. So even though it doesn't have tax, I'm still. What does that say? Hold on. Uh, never mind. It's just the number. I thought it was a price tag. I thought I said 2,350, but it's just the number. <laughs> I was about to say, my gosh, it's expensive. Uh, that's new. I'm gonna guess, but I don't know if it was paid for. But it's new. With the security tag. Let's see. Ooh, nice pink jacket or coat. That's really. Nice that tag on it. It does? On the left side. Where? Oh, it does. Wow. Yeah, this is really thick winter coat. Ooh, that's nice. Look at the back. Nice pink spider nice. on it. That's the brand of spider. It's spelled with a Y. I Let's wonder go. if your mom will did that one. She might. She <laughs> might. We'll see. This one? Nah. Let's see. Come on. This is probably the only unit I bought in six years of doing this that I like to look through the clothes. Only because I like to look for the tags and find new stuff. This one, no, nah, no no tags on this that I'm seeing. Last black bag I see, maybe for the rest of the load, I can't tell, but we'll figure it out in a second. Come on, black bag. I want more new clothes. I want more new clothes. Because I haven't had enough yet from this unit, you know? It's only been like 300 freaking things that are new in the hundreds of dollars. This guy right here definitely looks it. Let's see, do we have a tag on it? I'm gonna say, just take it out of the bag. The whole suit, let's just rip the bag off. The bag's already ripped in here. It's a Terry Lewis entire suit. Look at that. I don't think it has tags on it though, but it's super nice. And Terry Lewis is a very nice brand. So we'll definitely keep that over there. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, yeah, that's what I like to see. Wilson Leathers. Those are a good brand. I don't think we found their clothes yet, but we found their purses and they're very expensive. Very nice. So let's see if it's all leather stuff. Let's see. Come out. Is this all new? No. It's not even the right brand in there. It's not even what it's supposed to have in there. Well, that's a troll. That's an absolute <laughs> troll. Thank you for that. <sighs> no, I can't complain at this unit. Whoa, here we go. What does this say? Le suit? That's gonna be new, isn't it? Mm. That's gotta be. No. No? Why is it all in plastic though? Probably from dry cleaner. It could be dry cleaner. Or also could be that the tags rip off in storage. Cause like we said, a lot of this stuff has been in storage for around 12 to 15 years. There's Pamela McCoy. See, look, that one's got a tag on it right here. So it could, there could be tags like literally in this bag, maybe in another box. Maybe they've been dry cleaned. I don't know. That There's matches so many the jacket we just found. Does it? The Coldwater Creek one or Terry oh. Lewis one. I can't remember. Okay, I'll set it over here then. Let's see. Uh, Casper? Nah, nothing. We'll set that one over here. Come on, where's the new? Where's the new? Ugh. No, no new. What about here? This bag? No, no, no. This has all been dry clean, pre-owned stuff. It's not as good as brands as the other stuff. So this stuff yard sale, this stuff auction. Let's get the green box right here. Ooh. In here we have, let's, oh boy, wow. Look at all these Christmas balls. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess there's one missing out of there probably. I don't know, should we just, should we sell these? Would people, would you guys be interested in Christmas ornaments if I sold them as a giant lot like this? It's not heavy, it'll sell, it'll ship cheap. You guys let me know down in the comments and we'll see. Let's get the little Walmart box here. Where in the heck did my knife go? It's gone, isn't it? In your pocket? Did I put it in my pocket? No, it's it's gone. We gotta find it. Since the other knife is now lost in the abyss somewhere, <laughs> no idea where it went. We go and got another one and cut this box here open. And inside we got, it said towels, but I didn't think it was really towels. Is there really nothing else in there? No, it's actually all towels. Yard sale. So weirdly there were one, two, three, four boxes here that look exactly the same, but none of them have any label on them. So kind of interested to see what these are. It looks like factory tape on them, so hopefully it's for a brand new something. But let's find out what the something is, because that's the big thing. Let's see, one, I can't get my finger in there. Get in there, knife. There we go, two. Yeah, there's styrofoam, and I see um, plastic over the styrofoam, so it's definitely something new, I would think. Turn it upside down and try to find out. Careful, looks like glass. It's glass, okay, let's put this down. Is it just a mirror? It's a mirror. Uh, that's it. A just mirror. A thick mirror. Just a thick mirror, literally. <laughs> okay, they're going to the yard sale pile. So I checked those other thing. They're all the same thing. Let's go to this big box here and see what's in there. Oh, a plant. A plant. 
and some wooden trays. So some home decor. Yeah, that's all that's in there, just the plant in the trays. Home decor type stuff that will again go right behind you to the yard sale pile. This one here, U-Haul again. Let's see, slice this thing open, find out what's inside. It's really light. Oh, well, it's more Christmas decor, huh? Bags. Christmas star bags. Christmas balls. Big balls. Big balls. This box has some big balls, but it also has some little balls right there, too. So <laughs> we're just going to put all the balls at the yard sale. At the Treasure Enemy Divas yard sale, you can get balls. This box has kind of got rain going. It's kind of still drizzly outside, so we're trying to put stuff to where it doesn't get absolutely peed on by the sky, but we can also reach it. So let's see what's in here. We got. Oh. That looks Again, familiar. another plant in another tray. More home decor to go to the yard sale pile. I just wanted to point this out. You know we've sold a lot of stuff at our auction, but this is also the yard sale pile that just from this unit is building right here. And once we get this from there to probably here, and then from here to the front, that means it's another yard sale. So I'm gonna guess, like we said, probably April, but I can't promise that. But let's just go back over here and go to the next box. Let's get this big blue and white one right here and see what's in there. Uh, what the heck is this? Container. Takeout stuff? Is this a new thing of plates? Yeah, Are they new? Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll take that. I don't Ooh. mind. Then this is just like takeout containers? Yeah. Okay, yard sale. There's no place like home shopping network. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a one heck of a logo yeah. or a motto. Let's see. Stuffed bears is what it says. Like, what kind of stuffed bears? Do we have Stife or expensive ones or just Chivos? Oh, no, these are like... Snowflake teddies. Look at that. Oh. These are kind of cool. Maybe we should sell, should I sell them as a set? 2009. There's two in there. There's 2009. You know what? I'm going to sell them as a set. This guy sells his tags on them. So does this guy. They're getting sold in the whatnot auction. Look at this box. A gigantic star. Nice. It better not be an actual star, like a Christmas tree star. Unless it's like a real one from space, but then I don't think it'd fit in the box. Considering most of them are bigger than our entire planet. Let's see. What's in here? Ugh. Open up. Well, whoa. Look at these lampshades. Oh, there's the whole lamp. There's no. like the rest of it right there. That has leaves on it too. Okay, let's see. Do these have a brand name on them? The shades do not. So let's see if the actual <laughs> bases do. There's one, two shades and one, two actual lamps in here. They're definitely not new. They've definitely been around town. So let's <laughs> see. Uh, look at the plug. You can tell us by looking at the plug. That's an older plug, but I don't see anything on them. I don't even know where it would be at. You know what I mean? Where's a brand name on a lamp? I have no idea. I have no idea either. I don't buy lamps. I know. I, if I buy a lamp, I'm getting like the $10 one from Walmart. Let's yeah, the see. floor lamp. <laughs> yeah, the floor lamp. Exactly. They all, I just look for light. I'm not trying to look fancy. Uh, I don't see anything on this thing about a brand, but they definitely look nice. So maybe we'll just put them right back in the box and we'll sell them as a pair just like this or whatnot. Tall red candles. That's so specific. You know what I just noticed too in that last box with the lamps huh. when I was putting it down? On the side it says grandma's lamp. So they're definitely older for sure. I hate these kind of boxes. They, they just don't come apart like they're supposed to. It's like just pull here. Sight got them. All right, let's go through here. Let's go through here. And this is, these look like freaking columns to like the Coliseum or something like that. That's kind of cool. They're candle holders. These are more candle holders. I'm looking for the tall red ones. Where are the tall red ones? These probably? Whoa, that's definitely a tall candle holder. Let's see, if it's a candle holder. Come on, just unravel for me. Whoa, yeah, they're huge. These are 35, $32 what a piece. What kind of candle does in that? I have no idea, that's a giant candle. What's gonna happen when it like burns this much? Then what? I don't know. You know what I mean? You can't even get to it anymore. But there's two of those, three of them, four of them in there. You know what? I'm wrapping it up, I'm selling it as a set on whatnot. I'm really curious what's in this box. Look at the label. What does that even say? A, W, A, X, what? I don't know. Let's see. No idea. Let's see. Did we just lose a light? Yeah, we lost one. Oh, <laughs> well, here is a speaker. Here, is this an Xbox 360 headset? Oh my gosh, it is. This is so nostalgic. I broke so many of these back in the Modern Warfare 2 days. Let's see, there's that. There is a, what is this, GameCube or Nintendo 64? I can't tell right here. Controller. Does that mean we're gonna have a console in here somewhere? What is that, what is that, what is that? What is that? Let's see. 
Oh, oh what is it? Xbox, that? This is a, no, this is a Nintendo Wii. Wii manual. A Nintendo Wii uh, controller case, AA batteries, and no console though. No console, what is this though? See this? Yeah. These are batteries. Oh. No. And this guy here looks like it's part of a stereo, huh? Yeah, that's just a big old stereo piece. Let's look at the blue and white, like, flowered kind of boxes. Oh, they have drawers. Look at this. Sweatpants? What is there, one pair in there? Hold on. Oh, that's sweatpants, all right. I Dude. mean, two pairs. Wow. What, what is the point of this as a dresser? What <laughs> is the purpose of that? Is it really all closed? This one says, what? Collared turtleneck. Okay, there's two in there. It's just like a dresser for like two of each thing. Socks, I guess, and mittens and that kind of, what is this? Socks. Socks, uh. Hey, look, come here. Ah, brand new Nordstrom tag on it. Hmm, is this this one? Yeah, there's some brand new pair of socks at least. This is the pair here. Oh, it's a whole one. These are used. Ah, okay, then yeah, used ones now. They'll go in there. Somebody can grab that stuff at the yard sale. Bottom one, ah. Okay, this one's a little random. These are pantyhose, aren't they? Well. This whole thing, besides those, going over there. So I got another one, but this one has like a plastic wrap over it. So let's see, it says, um, un ooh, underwear in there. That's no good. Day-to-day -day socks, underwear, slips, Slip. bras, and- Basic turtlenecks. Turtleneck. Yeah, these, this is hair. Wow, okay, I decided I wanted to jump out, so there. Underwear, empty. empty. That, bras. bras. This, socks. <laughs> All to the yard sale pile. Let's check this little box here. Nothing but a barcode. Looks new to me. Uh, you think so? Yeah. Let's see. Slice it open and find out. Ooh, I think you're right. I see new in plastic. Let's Flatter. pull out the instruction manual. This is a Ooh. Cook's Essential Rotating Three-Tier Party Platter. Nice. Definitely brand spanking new. You know what? That's going to stay right in its box and go right to whatnot just like that because it makes life easy. Yep. What about this? What is this, a lemonade maker? A 700 watt juice extractor, Bella. This tape does look like um, their tape, not factory tape, so it might be used, but even if it is, it's probably still in good shape. If they even used it, like actually used it, they could have just used it for um, house staging, which is a lot of stuff we found in this unit so far, just to, you know, set on the counter. Oh my gosh. And make People, it... do they stage houses with appliances too? I would think so, just to make it look, you know, like how it will look when somebody actually buys it. Just look at this, I mean, there's like nothing on here but dust. There's like absolutely no sign of actual usage <laughs> whatsoever on this guy. It's basically brand new. Save money, live better. Walmart. Walmart. Hey. Kitchen drawer. That's so descriptive. Like what if it just actually a drawer in there? Hopefully they had cool stuff in there. What do you have in your kitchen drawer? It better not be like spices and food. Just and stuff to like be that. funny, I hope it's the kitchen drawer. Like the actual, actual drawer. Actual kitchen drawer. Uh, let's see. No, definitely not. All right, so this is brand new, a pillowcase. That's what I keep by kitchen too. Weird, I thought I was the only one. <laughs> this is a, let's see, mainstay bathtub caddy. I keep that in my kitchen too. What else do we keep in our kitchen similarly? This is, ugh, ew, whatever that is, is nasty. Yeah. Not nasty, it's just not new. So I'm gonna leave it in there. And then you got a little, what do you even wanna call Pencil it? Like thing. a storage thing, utensil thing. Oh, again, I said this like 20 times this video, but a lot of yard sale stuff, yard sale pile. Little public storage box right here. It just says um, fragile on it, but it doesn't tell me what the fragile is. So let's slice and dice and find out. Open up, paper, Oops, something's right here. Picture frame, is it used? No, brand new. Look at that, it's like nice silver one actually. All right, let's put that over here. Let's go a little deeper. What else is in here? Something bigger. What is this? Whoa, this is heavy. What is this thing? That's where all the weight's coming from. What is it? Just a giant glass cube? That's what it looks like. Literally, it's that, that's exactly what it is. It's just a vase. It's like a cube vase. <laughs> but the brand or the price tag is on the bottom. It was only 20 bucks brand new, so it's not gonna be too expensive pre-owned. Literally, that's all it's in there. This was just all the weight. I'm bringing out two boxes this time. Let's Ooh. go this one first. I know, right? We're getting, this one says Miss Kitchen Event Preacher. What? Okay, let's just, let's just find out. Uh, some of the labels, it's like they put one thing in it and then they just start going. Like it'll just say like kitchen counter stuff, book wall, whatever, <laughs> a million things. Let's see, we have a bowl. A bowl, is it just a bowl? Yeah, that's just it's a bowl. bowl. What else is buried in here? What about this guy? What is that? Uh, a poker mix. 
Okay. Okay. That. Trash. Random. Kitchen. 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 Oh, that's Ooh, a nice set. That? Let's see. Is this a new knife set? Let's open up. It sure looks like it. Look at this. Is that in there? Yeah. It's nice. definitely in there. This might be a whole new knife set. I don't know how much that'll be worth, but I guarantee it's not cheap. But other than that, let us see what's in this first. Open up. Open up. Something's wrapped up tight here. It's just a little top to something. I don't know what though. I forgot I'd taken out two boxes. Let's go into this one here. Okay. Ugh. Something new, it looks like maybe. Is that new or is this, let's see. This is just a red, what, like a file or book holder? <laughs> Nothing in there. Something holder. Something like that, yeah. The rest of this, uh, this looks like a lot of files and stuff, but hey, these I'll keep shipping, all right? Yep. Always use those. Ooh, more. Thank you. Thank really you. appreciate it. What is this here? Just paper. Paper. We'll, take paper. we'll also take it. Thank you. Gotta love getting stuff that you can use around the house, right? Yep. And the rest of this is just files, but most of them are pretty much new. I'll look through them. Okay, some of these aren't. Hey, look, a real estate agent's business card in there. The ones that are obviously, you know, pre-owned, they'll go, but all the new stuff, we'll put at the yard sale. Hey, look, little ones, because somebody will definitely use it. When I was going through the personal folder, I did find a lot of personal stuff, but I also found three Subway gift cards. Maybe we'll call these at the end of the video and see what they have on Yay. Let's get these guys down right here and see what's inside. This says kitchen under cabinet. Okay. What? What's under the cabinet exactly? You gotta tell me, you gotta be more descriptive than that. Just under the cabinet doesn't do it for me. Ugh, Why all are right. stars on it? I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. Maybe they're Dragon Balls, the three star Maybe. Dragon Ball. That'll make more sense. Let's see. Well, uh, at least the cabinet lights again. A different kind. Yeah, they're a different kind. They're definitely pre-owned cabinet lights, but that's definitely what's in this box. So we'll scoop these over here. What about this one here? Oh, this says party platter on it. I wonder if it's a brand new one like that like other the one other we had. One. Yep. The three layer one. Yep. That's exactly what it is. Another brand new three layer party kit. So that'll definitely go to auction. And these, this is literally a Christmas ball holder. This nice. one's got full of Christmas balls and this one's got nothing in it. These, yard sale. The first real piece of furniture to come out of this unit is a little cubby system and nothing's in there. Oh, this one's full of like yarn. Check that out. For all our sewers, we'll definitely nice. throw this into a big lot for the next auction tomorrow. And what about the little cabinets? Do they have doors? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Oh, so I'm gonna guess. Oh, that one's got something. Random, just pair of pants in there. Let's see. Or a jacket. Just a random army jacket. Let's see. Does it have a brand on it? I wonder if it's like a real army. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Isn't that the tags are going like the real army jackets? Looks like I'm it. Pretty sure. I'm gonna reach in these pockets. Ew. Ew. Dirty tissues. I just <laughs> caught something. 100%. <laughs> Huh? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe this will go up for auction too because I know there's a lot of people that like to collect military style stuff So I think we should auction it. You haul to the rescue Let's see what's inside. Oh, then we have to cut it It's just a basket. Oh, these are like a drying rack or something Yeah, these are literally baskets. Baskets and drying racks are definitely yard sale items. Another U-Haul box. Come on. We want brand new, baby. We want brand new. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Gosh, there we go. This is, oh, oh, nothing. Collectible solo cups. There they are. Are these new, actually? These are Curtis Stone everyday, what are they, cutting boards? Looks like work, Look. workbench cutting board. Let's see, it looks like the box opens like this. Yeah. Uh, that's not what that is. Liar! Liar! What about this one here? Well, it looks like one. what the other thing is. Yeah. Did they really like switch the boxes? Oh, this one's, um, this one, oh, it opens this way. That's why. Hold on. Come here. There we go. It opens like this. Is this the cutting board? They swapped the boxes. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look. Mm -hmm. No. And that's that what is. this is. Okay, so I don't know what the heck is in that other one or where the wood thing is it's supposed to be in there maybe it's in here there's a solo cup that's a solo right cup ah. that's a nice water bottle huge yeah that's a good one to take to like the gym and down here there's in here it's drying rack and this guy oh look at that that's pretty cool i got another u-haul oh this one's heavy too this one is heavy what we got u-haul what we got inside Oh, didn't go through the tape. I thought it did. There we go. We're through. What is this? Like fall decor type stuff? 
Ugh. Let's get it out. That's what it looks like, huh? Is it like pumpkin? Oh, that's like a crocheted pumpkin. A crochet pumpkin? Alright, let's take something out. There's stuff wrapped up in this glass, or on um, paper too, that I'm gonna assume is glass. Or at least fragile. Let's see. That. Yeah, this is definitely like decorative fall type stuff. This kind of stuff again, we're gonna send right to our $1 yard sale. Oh, another big box here. What do we got in this guy? Slice them open and slice them open. Let's see what's in there. Well, stuff. Ooh. Something in there. Let's see, hold on, I'll get the look. You don't. Uh. <laughs> Makeup. Yeah. Is it new? It is new. It is new, but I don't know if it expires. No. So we'll look into it. We'll look into that. Let's see what else is in here. This is like a ball. Baseball? Sign uh, baseball? It is a baseball, actually. What is this? Ooh. Uh, May? What? What did it say? Uh, Freedom something. Freedom. It's got a hand on it. It's just got a little freedom on it. No, what is right here, though? I have no clue. National Museum of African American History and Culture. Okay. That's a lot of nice condition. Yeah. We'll put it there. This? Uh, here? It, why do they put so many wraps on each little thing? Pumpkin top. Ah, that. This stuff's like really random though. It's like kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know what that is. Packing material. This, right here, oh, well. The paper can't support it. What is it? It's in multiple pieces, whatever it is. Whoa, that looks cool. That yeah. looks really cool. Does it have a brand on it? No, it doesn't, but that looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know what it is, but. It's, it's just a decorative thing. I it's think. there. I think it's just decorative. What about this? Whoa, whoa. This looks cool too. This kind of stuff looks nice. Let's see what's in okay. there. Well, the hinges are right here, so. Okay. Oh, oh, matches. Just a bunch of matches. What's this though? That looks interesting. Matches, matches, battery, stuff like that. Let's put this here. I'm kind of curious what's in this little envelope though. Do I just pour it on my hand? Hope it doesn't poison me. Yeah. Oh, uh, thumbs up. Really? Really? I know. Why? Why? All right, let's keep going. This is an interesting box. I like these kind of random ones. That's just a copper standing thing. What about this? Well, glass tray. Okay. Let's see, down here. Ooh, what is this? This looks like it opens up, so it might have something inside of it too. Oh yeah, it definitely opens up. Look at that. It's like a little mini suitcase almost. Ugh, what's inside of it? That's the question. Paper? With what? Hmm. This better be something special. It's really protected. This is like a million dollar gold doubloon. Let's see. If it's like a thumbtack, really, on Orlando, Florida shot glass, that's what all that protection's for. Oh, they light just died, didn't they? Yeah. That's sad. They didn't even look different. Okay, let's go here. What's in this one? This looks like the bottom of the pumpkin that we found the top for. I was waiting for that. Yeah, there it is. The rest of the pumpkin and all this stuff in here. This is just random paper. Yeah, I hear money. I hear money. Let's see. Get out. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So look, those are some tickets, some papers. What's in here? This is why we always gotta check bedroom stuff because they could just have random stuff like. Oh, really? Okay. There's a bunch of are these all gift cards in here. That's not. But is this it's happy birthday? There's another birthday box in here. It does not come out. It's wider than the hole. Oh, there it goes. I was about to say, how did they get it in there? Uh, nothing in there again. But what is that? These are actually keys, not money. To uh, what kind of car are they driving? What is that? Uh, well, this is a like a sorority. That is the same sorority as the other unit. Yep. And it was at the same facility. <laughs> That is the weirdest connection I've ever made so far. That is really strange. Uh, anything else down here? Ooh, what's that? What is this? Oh, what are you? Oh, it's a picture frame. I thought it was a box. Home sweet home. Another U-Haul box right here. Let's get into it. Slice this side and slice this side and slice down the middle. I feel like if I don't narrate what I'm doing, it just sounds boring, right? right. I feel like that's a narrate. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, this one's kind of random. That thing, this little platter top. This looks like one of those fancy movies where they like, take it off <laughs> and you have like something underneath of it. All fancy. There's another one. What's this? Is this something new in the box? A glass platter. Okay. That. Huh? Yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely in there. Right. Yeah, it definitely feels like it. These are more plates, I think? Yeah, yeah these are like decorative plates. Let's see, bowl. This here. Plates. 
And this, ooh, this is heavy. This might be like something better than that. The other one's called plastic. This one is essential. Well, they only paid 34 bucks for it, so it's not too expensive, but still nice stuff in here. And I think that's the last box of the truck. After the fifth truck load you just watched, this is what's left in this unit. We probably have another truck load or two left, but we're getting close to the end, but my gosh, it has been amazing. So hey, if you haven't checked out the other parts of this unit, the whole playlist is in the description of all of them, or click any of the two on screen. And until next time, peace out.